Hi, I'm Lightly and I'm nine. Um, I'm nearly ten. And today I'm doing a review on the one and only, the epic Emerald Star. It's made by the best writer ever, Jacqueline Wilson. And it also has lots of nice little pictures that have been illustrated by Nick Sharat. There's some, a train on it, look, and then diamond, if you don't know, which is like this acrobatic child of wonder. Um, there's her long lost father there, look. Her The circus there, look. And then there's Hetty Feather, who likes to be called Emerald Star. Her real name's actually Sapphire Bassey, but when she started off at the family hospital, everyone, she was christened as Hetty Feather, and she really does not like the name. There's a boat look. I've not got up to that bit yet, so I'll tell you guys that what it is later. Um, and that's Jem, her, lo her brother. Jem, her brother. And here it says, Hetty's search for a happy ending. Because basically this book is all about Hetty searching for her ending. She had a bad start and not a very good middle. Now she's looking for a brilliant, brilliant end that'll make up for all the bad things that happened. Um, on the back it says... The, li the life of Hetty Feather has been full of drama, danger, heartbreak, excitement. Now the little found foundling girl, now the little girl from the Foundling Hospital is ready to face her future. She is bold. She is brave. She is bright. She is Emerald Star. But which path will she choose? Her long lost father, her beloved gem, a mysterious, a mysterious figure from her past. I'll leave it up to you. I'll leave that up to you. May I just tell you? This book is so cool so far. I mean, it's like amazing. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll read you a little section of it. Please not very loud, my brother. It won't be that loud because my brother really hates Jacqueline Wilson books, and he's in the room. So. And I'm trying to listen to Chelsea. What are you doing here, child? This is no place for a little lass like you. Come on, tell me your name. I drew myself up as tall as I could, standing on my tiptoes in my clumpy boots. I am not a child, I said hauntily, though I knew I was small and slight. I did not look anywhere near fourteen. My name is... But then I hesitated, foolish. My name is Hetty Feather, but I never felt it. My real name... It was a comical name chosen at, chosen at a random when mum, Mama handed me to the matron at the Foundling Hospital when I was only a few, day, a few days old. I had been christened Hetty Feather in the hospital chapel and people have been calling me that name in the irritation and anger ever since. I not, was not a platic child and found it hard to stick to the right rules and regulations of the hospital. My hot temple and wild spirit made me stand out from all the other foundlings as clearly as my bright red hair. And there's a picture there, look. Oh no, the roof's coming up the house! <laughs> that is the first page of it. Um, and as you know, it sounds really good. So, I think you should get it. And you have to look out for, let me show you. Hetty Feather and Sapphire Bassey. I've got Hetty Feather and Sapphire Bassey and Diamond, which is 
Yeah, I've got all of them. There's a new one called All Little Stars coming out, but it's not out until um, I think it's the 28th of October or something. Yeah. That's Diamond there, that little fairy as I've shown you before. There's a book with just her face on, and that's a Hetty Feather book. This one is the last. This one is the second to last Hetty Feather book so far, because then the little star will come out and it'll be the newest. But I recommend to read all of them. And they're only I about don't. six pound in Waterstones or something, so I re- recommend to. Thanks for watching. Make a thumbs up and a camera. Bye.